had uh, aut autism. Uh, it is sad that we've lost uh, a young man. Uh, we the future of this country is being killed by police. It's very sh it's very it's very sad. Uh, I just want to urge uh, the authorities in this country to restrain themselves from using excessive force, especially when it comes to persons living with disability. We've seen even people with disability being uh, tear gassed in the streets. We've seen, uh, we, we have another case of, of a lady in, in, in Nyeri who is actually deaf, because uh, some, the, some of these people, uh, they cannot even understand sometimes when violence uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation where they don't understand what is actually happening. They cannot comprehend. Like persons living with this, uh, autism, sometimes it's a bit uh, hard for them to understand what is actually happening in the, in the, in the environment. So kindly, we need a lot of uh, restraint when it comes to also using excessive force to an environment where they are mixed up. Persons living with disability are also part of this community. So anytime they're using, uh, they, are, they, are, they are going to, to actually uh, uh, quell uh, any, any, any disruptions, let us use, use minimal force. Because now those people, we've seen ladies being tear gassed in, in town, uh, persons living with disability who are being tear gassed in town. Some are even being left in the streets when everyone, we, we saw what happened, uh, people with disability being forgotten when everyone is being evacuated for, away from danger. So we just urge uh, authorities to actually consider persons living with disability in this whole issue. When there is violence, kindly take care of these people. Because we've seen that this young man is being shot. For, maybe he didn't even understand what was actually, he would not comprehend what was actually happening. So it's a sad day for parents and also for persons living with disability. We've lost a young life. That is a very sad thing through police violence. So let's kindly preserve life. Life is precious. Patrick. All right, that is the latest from Nakuru where um, the, we've just had the post-mortem results of the guys who were killed in Nakuru. And according to uh, the doctor, he says that three young Kenyans uh, so far have, uh, have succumbed and police uh, to use restraint when it comes to dealing with the protesters. And this is the latest, especially from Nakuru, when it comes to what, is, what uh, the post-mortem results were Three young Kenyans have been lost and they are advising the police to use restraint when it comes to handling protesters. We'll be bringing you, of course, the latest of the developments as they unfold from that particular area. That is Nakuru, where, of course, we're just sticking in Nakuru. Earlier on, we saw protesters um, in running battles with the police and our reporter Gashu, he was there and he just, uh, he, he brought about the issue of uh, the protesters coming out and saying, okay, this is what needs to happen. But uh, of course the law enforcers that